Hey YouTube, this is the Game Ends Review, and as mentioned in my last review, there would be another sounds related review about uh, of sounds related device. So the sound related device happens to be a Beats Pill. So here's the Beats Pill, if you can see the speakers. And this is the Beats Pill 2.0. So the Beats Pill didn't, it was just blank here and I had the writing, but the Beats Pill 2.0, you can actually take this under and you can put uh, your say iPhone cable or, or for example, I'm gonna say this is an iPhone cable. So you can put that in there and it will charge out for you. So just in case your phone's running low and you happen to have your Beats Pill with you, say a full battery, you should be good. Some of the port, some of the ports on the back here are the, um, well, the uh, in, audio in, audio out. So say your phone or for example, an iPod here, this is a first gen iPod Nano. Doesn't have a uh, Bluetooth connection because it's so old, obviously. So what you would do is you would, Take this audio cable here, which I don't use because I'll usually, I mean, all my devices use it. Uh, you plug it in through here, and you plug it in through the audio in port, and then you should get audio coming out through the, the speakers. Uh, for the audio out, you, it's pretty much the same thing. Say you want to use your Bluetooth speaker, I don't know why you would, but you want to use your Bluetooth speaker as a... Uh, connector to a more powerful speaker that's a little bigger and louder you would connect your bluetooth here wire it to the um to the big speaker and then you would um then it should play so when you get the beats pill outside the box which uh you get the uh cool little carrying case which i almost never use because uh it's it, well, that's not true. I kind of use it a bit, but I wouldn't use it very often. And um, just it goes in here like this, it zips up. I find it to be very, very flimsy. And you gotta make sure it's in there good. Okay, and then you got a Beats pill. The package says Beats, obviously. Another thing I forgot to mention, by the way, is um, not only this is for the charging port, and the charging port here has, if you can see, bring it close to the camera there. There's a little light around here, so when it's low on battery, that thing will go red, but when it's charged up, it'll go green. So it's a little light indicator on the battery. And on my iOS device, it also says once it connects to Bluetooth, it will show a little Bluetooth symbol in the battery. So I'll show you that later. Uh, to turn it on, simple as that, just press the button. And you're ready to go. Volume up and down at the top. So you can see that, yeah. And it's paired, because when it makes that sound, it's paired. Then uh, there's the Beats Pill button, so I think that's pause and play. And it's pretty much it regarding the Beats Pill. That's how it powers down. So as I mentioned in the last cutscene, uh, the Beats Pill charges through here, so this is the, you get two cables out of the box, you get the audio in and out, out, which I explained, and you also get the, um, the charger cable, so it just fits in there like that, plug it in, it's to USB, and this is the, uh, let's put that over there for a sec, this is the USB thing, the wall adapter you get, so you plug it into here, you don't have to use it, but... I guess you should, as it comes with it and it's meant for it. It's a cool little design on the on the uh, uh, wall plug-in thing. And it's uh, prongs go in and out. So that's how the Beats Pill charges. This part here doesn't really doesn't come with the camera. It's an an extra part, but I find it to be very useful instead of using this flimsy case and. It, and it's you'll probably get dirty after a while, stain if you're not careful. It's not very protective, if you can see there, it's very, very thin. 
probably cost like two dollars to make okay so this part here this i think is i don't remember how much this one here is this is the uh, stand you might have seen it in a commercial so here i chose the red one because i like the contrast on red and black so the beats pill here just slides in like this so like that and it won't fall out because it's got the rubber grip at the bottom and then you got like this and it should it should go in and just make sure it's sealed all around and this is a way to get your beats pill higher up so the sound can get higher up and just to mess around with a figure and it still gives you access to all your important ports on it doesn't one thing it doesn't give you access to is the um, which I find a little annoying is the um, volume up and down on the pill which really doesn't matter though because um, you, you can do it on your phone or your iPod or whatever because the, the Bluetooth but I did find on when I was using it that um, if you change the auto up on here it can get much louder than max volume on your phone so you, I think you need to calibrate it when you get it. So turn this all the way down to the bottom. And turn your phone volume all the way down to the bottom. And and likewise, turn it to the top. And then you should be calibrated. Because it comes at a certain volume out of the box. I don't remember what it is. And you can also move the head around. So like that. So now for one of the most important parts of the review. The audio part. So I'm going to connect my iPhone here to it. And I'm gonna play some no copyright sounds music for an obvious reason. So it should connect. And I'm gonna play a song here that I'm gonna use in the video editing after. So get a little preview. So it gets very, very loud. So I'll put it very loud. Skip to the more um, like what's it called? Uh, uplifting part of the song. That's a little sound preview. I found this to be very, very uh, loud at certain points, and I found it to be very, very nice in the way it represents the song. Like the um, the reproduction of the song in in the uh, 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 what's it called in the speaker is very, very good. So it doesn't miss any parts. So I found it to be very good. And another thing I remember, I remember reading about this before I got it, that some people were having issues and the speakers were dying and the thing wouldn't work properly in pair. Um, I think that was with the Beats 1.0, but I think they did it much better with the uh, Beats 2.0 because it's, uh, it's more versatile, obviously, like this. And it's just a better speaker and all. I haven't had a problem with it since I got it, and that was about two months ago. And um, it's really great. And another thing that I forgot to mention actually, is if you can see that little hole, yeah, you can see that there. Okay, um, you can accept calls on your phone, and this person you could hear through the speakers, and as long as you're close enough, you can hear, uh, speak through here and instead of just unpairing getting on your phone, call, and then responding. So, it's a nice little useful feature. Please like and subscribe for more videos like this, and I will have a camera-related review in the future. And um, I'll show you a little preview of it at the end. And the whole video was shot on this camera.